Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Rain, wind, and high surf all in the cards for the next 24 hours. Let's take a look at live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And you can see we've got some green on the screen, and a lot of this especially uh, in the Providence area, not quite reaching the ground, but there are, have been some sprinkles and light rain showers, been monitoring the cameras down along the south coast. There have been some raindrops down there. Let's take a, a look at the uh, situation again. A high surf advisory for a high surf uh, tomorrow up to seven feet. Now tomorrow afternoon, the beach weather will return, the good beach weather, but there will be some strong rip currents at area beaches. Kind of keep that in mind for tomorrow. Wind advisory for tomorrow, 3 a.m. to noontime, easterly gust of 45 miles an hour could lead to some power outages and some uh, scattered uh, areas of uh, wind damage. Street and poor drainage flooding possible tomorrow morning as a result of one to three inches of rain. Some small stream flooding possible as well. So a flood watch for all of Rhode Island except for Block Island, all of Bristol County, Massachusetts. Here's a breakdown of this storm. Light rain this evening, the heaviest of the rain, 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, expecting one to three inches of rain. And again, some strong wind gusts and the strongest of those winds, 3 a.m. Uh, overnight night and into about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got a couple raindrops on the lens there. There's one We had some very light sprinkles coming on through Oakland Beach. It's dry right now. We can see the cloudy skies probably been a few sprinkles there. Temperature right now in Warwick at 65 down in Westerly. They've had some sprinkles and a couple light showers come on through. They've got 62 degrees. Nothing to trigger the rain gauge down there in Westerly though. Satellite radar picture showing a whole bunch of rain working its way into the northeast. Some severe weather down along the mid-Atlantic states. We're going to be seeing an area of low pressure work its way into the northeast overnight. A heavy windswept rain after midnight in our area and tomorrow morning first thing. Now tomorrow afternoon we're going to be seeing the worst of it lift off to our north but still the possibility of a quick shower or thunderstorm in our area uh, tomorrow afternoon and into the early evening but not nearly as serious as what will happen tomorrow morning. So overnight tonight evening light rain but again the real heart of the storm storm arriving after midnight. Heavy rain and strong winds expected late for tomorrow morning around 9 o'clock. Heavy rain and strong winds temperatures in the upper 60s. Now in the afternoon we'll get a little bit of sunshine. Generally it'll be drier but still the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast CVS charity classic in the morning. Not looking so good. Looks better in the afternoon tomorrow. Looks fine for Monday and Tuesday there in Barrington for the Gulf at the beach on Monday. Sunday Sunny and dry air temperatures will be right around 74 degrees, so a good beach day there. On Tuesday, we'll see some changes through the day. We're looking at highs around 79. will be some rain arriving in the evening after dark. Rain Tuesday night might be a quick shower or a thunderstorm on Wednesday. Thursday right now looks like it'll be dry. July 3rd, Friday, some showers around. Right now, July 4th looks warm and humid but dry. Be sure to download our new WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Get it for free at the App Store or Google Play Store. Something to have in hand for tomorrow morning. Download it right now. So it'll be all ready for tomorrow morning for some possible severe weather in our area. All right, TJ, thanks so much. And again, Pete Mangione will be here.